Hello guys, it's Mega Magic here, and I'm back with another Unity 3D tutorial. First, I just want to say thank you for 400 plus subscribers. It really means a lot to me, even if the number is not as great as other channels have, you know, like bigger channels. But anyways, I'm really happy for it, and today I have another tutorial for you, and it's how to create a basic build system like in fortress games or uh, RPG defense games anything like it it's a bit glitchy but we'll be creating a series of it and we'll be improving the system uh, and improving our knowledge of course so what we wanna go do first is create a game object in our unity scene it's a basic scene that you get when you open up unity so go to game object and 3d object cube so first what we're gonna do with this cube is we're gonna position it right in the middle of our space okay so it's in the middle and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna duplicate this cube and we're gonna resize it and place it on all four edges of our cube over here uh, so I'm gonna pause here to do it on my own and to not waste your time so I'm, I'll be back in a second you'll see how it look like it will last like nothing for you so yeah so uh, I unpaused the video and here we are back in unity as you can see the how the cube looks like this is how sh should it should look like and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint those four cubes a bit different colors. I'm gonna choose red over here too. I'm gonna paint them red. You can paint, it, paint them any color you want. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another cube, game object, 3D object, cube. And uh, but first we're gonna select those four cubes and uh, uh, we're going to select them and drag them onto our main cube over here on that cube on. and now we're going to select this cube we created and we're going to position this cube uh, about one red object from that red object so the space is just for one red object away or more just don't do it too close position it as perfect as you can get as it can get okay it looks okay so now we wanna child the cube 5 to our cube 4 which is the object facing cube 5 and we're gonna duplicate the cube 5 and drag it on all the way to the other side and we're gonna pair it with other red so with the cube 3 just drag and drop it on the cube 3 now we're gonna duplicate it again try to align it and try to face it the object next to the cube 3 and that's the cube 2 so pair the the face uh, object facing the cube 2 with cube 2 and now duplicate it and face the cube 8 with cube 1 so that's we have we done and uh, what we want to do now is we're gonna paint those four cubes different colors so we're gonna create a color create material I'm gonna name it green whatever you want and we're gonna leave it to standard rendering mode we're gonna change to transparent and we're gonna change the color to we're gonna drop the A quite a bit change the metallicness I guess not okay and we're gonna change it to nice green you can change it to whatever color you want and we're gonna 
drop it to every single cube we have here. So, uh, we are getting there, we are getting there. Now is the scripting part that it comes with it. So we're gonna select every single cube, uh, every single red cube. Let's select every single red cube we have. So, all, how many we have? All the red cubes, we're gonna select all the red cubes. Of course, we're gonna select the green ones too because they are paired with the red ones. And we're gonna add a component, a build script that I will be providing in the description. We're just gonna copy and paste it into JavaScript folder. That's all you have to do. And uh, now every single red cube has a build script attached to it. So we're gonna select the cube one and we're gonna quickly explain the script. So when you open it up, variable spawner is the green cube, the game object that will spawn other objects. Uh, the variable num will be explained in a second. So in the function update, it checks if the number equals one. If it equals one, spawner will be set to active. Else if the number doesn't equal to one, the spawner won't be set to active, it will be deactivated. So if we enter with our mouse to, if we enter the surface of our red object, number will be equal one. So, uh, that will lead to spawner to be activated. And if we exit the surface of our red cube, number will be equal to zero. So our object will be deactivated. And this is a basic system that I came up with. Very basic, actually. So, under cube 1, just pair the cube 8 to spawner, just drag and drop it. Cube 2, cube 7 is spawner. Cube 3, cube 6, six is spawner. Cube 4, cube 5 is spawner. And the last thing we have to do is another script that we'll be adding on those green thingies over here. So, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna select every single one of them and add a component spawn script I'm gonna open it up and it's even script even more basic than the first one so the variable block is a transform so variable block will be instantiating or spawning in the function update if you press down the right mouse button it will call function clear in the function clear instantiate that means spawn uh, block so our block object and it will keep the position and the rotation of the current object and then destroy the game object so it won't be able to spawn things anymore okay and when you did that just we're gonna first uh, select the entire thing and create a prefab we're gonna name it whatever you want to and we're gonna select every single one of green cubes and add something cube or however you called your cube where is mine? and add it to our block oh uh, first we're gonna Be adding it, adding this cube to the prefab we created, and then we'll be selecting every single of the red, the green cubes, and adding the something cube to it, and again <laughs> dragging it to a prefab, and again adding something cube to it. So now we just have to align the main camera. Align it so it facing down to this cube. Change rotation to 90 on the X. So it will be facing downwards and play the scene. So you can see that you can create those cubes and it look kind of like drawing. Uh, this is the basic build system 
you can create with those two scripts and the procedure I just showed you. It's a bit glitchy, but it will work most of the times. If you have any questions, of course, you can uh, you can text me. <laughs> Basically, you can text me like uh, never mind. Uh, you can email me or you can uh, reach me down in the comments. Or now you can uh, reach me on to my Facebook page. I'll be including the links in the description. Please like the page if you want to and support me if you can uh, with nothing but uh, nice comments and uh, nice rate. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, it's a really nice it's a really nice journey this youtube channel uh, what did i just say never mind thank you for watching and have a nice day